Hello, my name is Dipanj Khurana and I was the principal developer of the Future Forest project. This app is actually the third iteration in the Future Forest uh, series of apps that we've built so far with the Polish Academy of Sciences. The goal for this iteration was to make the research accessible. And a huge props to our designer Yuri for this because he is responsible for what you see on the screen, coming up with the way we present this information and why this information is easily viewable, easily accessible by so many people is most of his uh, brainchild. So overall, when you first come to the app, you see this screen and you see a sentence display data in Europe on Scotch Pine at current distribution. And this was one of our key features where the user would not have to, you know, go through the and jump through the hoops of different selectors and try to make this sentence in their mind. Because when we select a lot of drop downs, we actually do have a sentence show me data for X with the filter of Y and so on. So right now, if we just change this data here, we immediately see the sentence also changes, of course, and we have display data in Europe on Scott Spine at optimistic scenario. So overall, this makes it super user friendly as per a lot of feedback that we have. And people actually enjoy using an app that looks as simple as this but also gives us the most critical information that is required today in this age of climate change about the forest cover and how it is changing. Now, if we change a tree, again, we see that the information changes as well. The card has two sides to it. The first side gives you a summary of the tree. The second side gives you more data and you can actually see what each scenario means and how the data changes if we go from, let's say, the optimistic scenario to moderate to pessimistic and we can see this data for each tree species now we also have an about the app which basically talks more about how this app was built we also have a link to the original paper which we can which you can view and so on also this app is localized into polish so if we just want to change the translation we just simply click the flag here and everything in the app changes immediately so the reason we have just two languages here is because let's say we were working with the Polish Academy of Sciences. So that was the first priority there. Of course, we can add more languages and that is super easy to do with the shiny.i8 and package at Absalon. So this is the package that does the translations in the back end. And we can also zoom in on any section of the map. We can also recenter the app. And now let's talk about some interesting features. This was the basic stuff. You can see it on the screen, you can use it. We'll get into these options now and I, I'm hoping you will enjoy them as much as I do because we took a lot of thought into these and also we struggled a lot to you know get all of these right as we wanted them to be. So let's begin with the colorblind mode. The colorblind mode actually changes the palette to the weirdest colors, which is a colorblind, colorblind friendly palette. And this changes the colors for all the data points in the app immediately. So this enables the app to be used by colorblind users. And in this case, since we are already differentiating data by colors, it's really important for people to be able to access it. So these colors kind of make it possible for them to easily access it as well. Now, Coming to the these labels and the, this layer icon, if I change the layer, it basically just toggles the borders on and off. So borders are now on again. And if I select the labels, we toggle another leaflet layer, which has the labels itself. So now we have the labels and the borders as well. Let's toggle the labels off once. And What's that third icon? I mean, it's disabled, so we don't know what that is. Let's translate the app and see if it's enabled. And now it is. So this icon basically toggles the Polish forest districts. And as you can see now, we have all we have a layer of all the different forest districts in Poland as well. So the reason this is hidden behind the Polish translation is because the use case is very specific for the Polish Academy of Sciences and some government officials who would need this data. And to enable it for the rest of the uh, users is just presenting them with limited information. If we had this data for all the countries, it would make a lot of sense for, to give it to all the other users as well. Coming to the last three icons, they are pretty self-explanatory. We can just share the app quickly. 
and it shares it on Twitter, it shares it on LinkedIn and Facebook as well. And that's pretty much it. Overall, this app was a challenge to build in a lot of ways because we went far and beyond in the capabilities of what we can do with selectors, what we can do with the overall layout of a Shiny app. Because on the first glance, we wanted the app to feel super fresh. And this, in our opinion, was achieved, absolutely achieved. And last but not least, we do have a mobile UI as well. So if I just toggle the mobile view, I can see that the app condenses into a single card and the selector also remains. And then there's this button called toggle view and the user can easily toggle between the map and the card and they can view the data in the same way they would do on the web version of the app. So overall, I would like to thank the panel for this opportunity and I'm glad that this app was selected because this has been a collaboration exercise between so many people and I've had so much fun building it with all the developers, our designer Yuri and all the project managers, NJ and others with, so that you know, we actually collaborated on something so awesome together. And I think that really is the reason that this app is shining overall in our opinion and we can improve it further, which we definitely will. So this is also like a great amalgamation of how we work at Absalon. So overall, again, thank you so much for this opportunity and I hope you like the app. Bye.